There is a few more details that I do want to share with you about my neighbor, Metod Yerman, who is a police officer. On this stairway, on this stairway, is where I would walk with the police back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth during the day. But it was also on this stairway here that Metod Yerman, a neighbor here, individual who was working inside of Ljubljana, not out of Ljubljana, not in the normal Mesa, but out of Ljubljana, uh, is an investigator. Basically provided a straight connection for Milan Kutan, who worked part of the normal Mesa city. On this stairway, it's not once, but on a several occasions, this man appeared with a gun in his hands, which he pointed at me. I would walk with the police back and forth with other police investigators. And at times he would, at times he would orchestrate like he is responding to some kind of emergency with a revolver in his hands. He would point one at me and he would create such call, whatever the fuck you want to call this stuff. This is a higher investigator, as I said, that used to work out of Ljubljana. So he provided a connection for Novo Mesto police, the orders straight from Ljubljana. Uh, and there is some other issue that I have to share with you in respect to his brother. So this is method, method, like method, uh, like methods, method. And his brother name is Cyril. Uh, Cyril is a farmer. Cyril inherited a farm uh, from the parents and does a farming. Uh, but what actually got on my nerve, what I what really, really, really got on my nerve, is what uh, back in the United States, whenever I was returned back to Miami, uh, people neighbors, they started to assume that this whole village was a village of severely mentally ill people. Um, you know, they kind of saw me like a crazy hilly billy, like from some crazy, completely insane place because of the people, Americans that visited and they shared these stories and these stories were completely, completely stories you wouldn't find in a fucking Wild West movies. Uh, so therefore, this individual here for whom I have told you, he would do this stuff with his gun. He would draw one out of the holster and create emergencies that would have me, police investigators would have me walk back and forth, back and forth, up and down, I should say, on the stairways. And this individual would appear here and there. This is the stuff he was doing. And I think it was also used to intimidate my parents for probably some, at least like 15 years. Here and there, he would appear and he would do this kind of emergency. He does have a brother. And his brother is located in this farm here that you see right next door again. So these are all like a family people, this whole village. And this individual obtained what appeared to me was a hunting license sometimes in 2001, 2002. He became excited about becoming a hunter. Uh, I was really happy for him that he got his hunting license because Back in the day, I thought that these are my buddies, that these are my friends. Uh, but I realized sometimes in 2001 that this individual is actually mentally ill. And I wasn't the only one. I told you about news carried out through the ocean on the other side of the ocean to Miami, where people I interacted with heard these stories. Uh, they doubt about me because of what the fuck went on here in this village.
So it was in 2000 and probably 2002 that this individual started to appear. Uh, and I know that this was not a, he was also dressed up. I saw him uh, in a hunting uh, gear. And he started to appear with a hunting gun here in front of his place, whatever they would deliver me, he would come in my face and started to point rifle at me. Uh, it's very important to notice that this was not a rifle, like an airsoft, like air gun or something like this, but this was a real rifle. I know so because it became a big deal once he moved from what was um, in front of his house area, he moved toward our house. He started to walk into this area and he made it to about up to here, pointing literally up to here like this, up to here, pointing at me in my face, a real rifle during MK Ultra. He repeated this stunt uh, for about three years, maybe. Uh, the news came out, and it's a possibility he lost his hunting license. People started to wonder, ask themselves, if the guy is 100% sane in his head. I don't know, was it an alcohol? Is a guy was insane? I have no idea what the issue, what the reason was. But if he squeezed that trigger, he definitely would blow me away because this was a real hunting rifle, as I say. So these are, if you ask me, I am not going to give you any kind of opinion because it's better this way. I want to see these people somewhere else. Uh, but definitely these are very dangerous people, very dangerous neighbors that became addicted to psychiatry from Ljubljana. This became an addict from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, staff from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. And in force, boy, this, this whole village turned into like the biggest support on the planet of psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. That much about these neighbors. Maybe I'm going to find some other details about other people here, but these are probably the insanest scariest people inside of this village. Thanks for watching this video.